All new at six now, the man accused of conspiring to have a fellow congressional hopeful killed was in court today. Yeah, William Braddock is now asking for more time in his case involving Anna Polina Luna. And ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler tonight has an update from Pinellas County. William Braddock is defending himself in court as Anna Paulina Luna tries to get a permanent injunction filed against him. She already has a temporary injunction against Braddock for protection against stalking. According to Politico, the allegations involve a secretly recorded tape where Braddock said he had Russian and Ukrainian hitmen who could, quote, get rid of Luna. Luna and Braddock are both hoping to get the Republican nomination for the House District 13 seat. It's being vacated by Charlie Crist, who is running for governor. Politico is also reporting conservative activist Erin Olszewski is the person who recorded Braddock during a 30-minute phone call. She is also seeking a permanent injunction. Luna got support from President Donald Trump, but lost to Crist in last year's Republican congressional primary. She says she doesn't even personally know Braddock. And I have not known him prior to these incidences. In the injunction petition, Luna claims that Braddock is working with another Republican rival, Amanda Mackey. But Mackey told me she has no idea why her name is even a part of this. I'm still shocked. It's still very bizarre to me that, uh, you know, that, that my name is involved in this. Mackey lost to Luna in last year's primary. She said today she has nothing to do with any murder plot. They're very serious allegations, and I'm very interested to see what the discovery process bears out. Everyone will return to court July 9th after Braddock told the judge he had no idea what evidence was going to be presented against him, and he needed more time to go over it. In Pinellas County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.